We know a little bit more about the formation of severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. Watches and warnings can save your lives. Let's find out more about that. The whip it, but we are still watching this large and dry area moving eastward across Texas, and that appears to be enhancing some thunderstorm activity. We have uh, focused in for a slight risk of severe thunderstorms from southeast Texas across uh, parts of Louisiana into Mississippi. Meteorologists at the National Severe Storms Forecast Center keep up to date daily on the potential for severe weather. The forecasters analyze the latest weather data for the whole country, hour by hour, minute by minute. They use the latest satellite imagery, local radar, and observations from regional weather offices. We are somewhat of a detective in that we have to search through a lot of different clues. We have information to tell us what it's like right now, but we have to try and figure out what it's going to be six hours from now, and that is the, the real challenge that we face. If they observe an area where severe weather has the potential to form, the office issues a thunderstorm or tornado watch. This is transmitted to the local National Weather Service office, which in turn issues the watch to the public. Tornadoes are killers, but in recent years, the death toll from these storms has been reduced by 50%. 10 years ago, only half the major tornadoes were preceded by a watch or a warning. Now, in the early 1990s, thanks to uh, more experience by the forecasters and the modern technology, uh, we're close to 90% now. That means, uh, uh, and we think that's a, given the degree of difficulty, that that's a good track record. An accurate and timely forecast is vital, because the more information the public receives, the more time they have to react and take the necessary safety precautions. I'm Charlie Welsh, The Weather Channel. Now that we know more about the awesome force of tornadoes and the warnings associated with them, here are a few safety rules that could save your life. More tornadoes occur in the United States than anywhere else in the world. Over 80% of all severe thunderstorms and tornadoes occur between noon and midnight. To survive tornadoes, it is important to react to a tornado watch or warning. A watch means the potential is there, the ingredients are coming together, that later on during the day there could be a tornado. Now, tornado warning means all these ingredients have come together. Warning means you need to take necessary precautions immediately. When a tornado warning is issued for your community, stay away from windows, go to the lowest floor of a building, into a bathroom or closet. Protect yourself under something sturdy. Leave your mobile home or car. If you are outside, lie flat in a ditch. Beware of possible flooding. Thunderstorms and tornadoes can happen so rapidly that you may not get a warning. So if there is a watch in your area, be aware of developing weather conditions. I'm Jeff Morrow, The Weather Channel. Again, as we move through the spring and summer months, anticipate severe thunderstorms more of a likelihood as we fight that uh, transition between winter trying to hang on and spring trying to make inroads. So April and May in the plains and farther on up into the northern plains as the summer wears on into June and July. Our subject again today, we talked about tornadoes. If you want to know more about tornadoes, refer to chapter 11 in our weather the classroom book. <laughs> Weather Classroom is a production of the Weather Channel. To find out how to obtain a copy of the Weather Classroom textbook, call 404-801-2503. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Current regional conditions. regional information.